What's going on guys? DK6 Gaming right back at you here with some more beginner gameplay of you captain. As you can see, we're on the crew daddy ship again. And as you can tell, our nets are different. We are dredging. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Dredge for oysters. So to find out you just go into the little menu here. It's like shellfish, oysters, you can see what clams are in the area, scallops if any, they're all the way over there, going east, sewer shrimp, all that is, but we want oysters. I've already gone ahead to make it a shorter video, picked up almost 500 of them, so we're going to... Drop this guy down, start it up, do our little speed glitch. <clears throat> We're also going to have a little bit of fun doing this video since it will be a shorter video and you will see how that works. So for right now we're just going to do a couple minutes here. We'll see how we do. So one of the things I actually want to talk about is if you get enough gold, you can buy a drone. I don't have it yet. <clears throat> It's just something that helps out so you can fly to get the chest when the random ones appear. Now, if you were to click on the walkie-talkie right up here, you can basically spawn so traps. It works. It doesn't you have to be in the right area. You can actually save your progress, which I recommend from time to time, which creates your backed up file on google if you're using google or icloud so if you're like me and you move to a different phone it's automatically saved from when you last saved it now however if you put let's say 20 hours into the game and then you know i get a you get a new phone or in my case i got a new phone and i didn't save my 20 hours completely broke my other one could not get into the game could not see the screen so I had to go off of what I had. Otherwise you can always go up here and click on return to the nearest marina. Which will set you to the nearest one that you can buy your bolts at. Now if you go, let's say, we're not going to do that. Now if you go here and you see, oh, I'm close enough to this one. It will reset me there. No, it will not. As this one you cannot buy bolts this is just for repairs and off loading what you have the ones where it costs 25 gold is for repairs only and selling what fish or scallops or crabs that you may have caught the ones that cost 50 gold are ones where you can buy the bolts from. One thing I want to point out is there is one. Let's see if I can find it. I believe it's this one. No, it's not. This one right here in the middle of the screen. It's a shocker. So that is only for repairs and unloading. So it is 500,000 SP, which is your gold, or that's one too many damn zeros. So, but if you look here, it's like, Oh, 25? Okay, it's just for repairs. Also for repairs. 
Now this one, it says right at the bottom, able to build new bolts. And this map is completely huge. Where is this? As you can see. Now when you look on a map, if you, I'm just going to zoom in here before we go back to the bolt. If it has this sign right here, this one right here, it can actually build new bolts. Now if it has an anchor, it's just a standard for repairs. So back to this here, we'll give it about 30 seconds here, we'll pull up and drive back, or fast travel, whichever I prefer, and have a little bit of fun. All right, so we are going to retrieve the gear. We are going to go into settings. Well, I want to show you guys what Perfect Storm is. So if you look all around, it is by far a perfect storm. We And as you can tell, it is hard to handle, but it can be very fun. Uh-oh. So this brings me to what I want to show you here, is if we go back and or we take a look right here, you'll see that there's land that pops up that we're headed directly for, and let's see if we can turn and get off of it. I don't think we did, maybe. Okay, we'll go here, go back here. Now if you just put like gentle give it a second here and as you can see that little land that we we're trying to avoid that was right in this area is no longer there I just wanted to show you guys that that was the fun part of this so we're just going to fast travel back. So I wanted to show you this. 
A lot of people talk about this boat. It's called the dive boat. Apparently it's pretty good for a lot of stuff. We will get into that later. I have not actually used it. So I have no clue how it handles or anything. So we're going to go here. We're going to sell the 579 oysters that we got. Set it to max. So as you can see, that's $2,000. The boat alone was fifty or $25,000 plus fully upgrades. You're looking at like $40,000. 45 tops before I have it sitting for level ups. And <clears throat> the stuff for this bolt is actually pretty cheap. Like, as you could tell, crab pots are 100, nets are 500. Now it is a little more for the dredge for shellfish, which is 1,500, no big deal. So that is what I wanted to show you guys today. So oysters, they can pay depending on where you go. Let's see, do we have one? No. So, as you see here, you, you get 100 coins, you can spend them, buy a chest, you have a 5% chance of getting a golden bolt, is what I call them, because they're basically gold. Now, the pro chest, which is 25 gold, which will get you different flags, you can go into customization, pick flags. Oh, okay, it'll show you a pretty good option. Then you have to pay to have different flags on there. Not unless you open the chest and it automatically gives you a random flag. Just like that one. I'm on a boat. Pirate flag. Now, when you go to name them, we'll just set that to red. Okay. As you look in the top corner up by the arrow, it tells me, yeah, I got to pay five just for changing the color. Well, if we change the color of the boat, it adds up. It's 10. Actually, let's. Add that, we'll do this. Try and see if I can get it to show up. And so on and so on. So that is going to do it for this video guys. Um, next video we will try out this. And see. Actually. And let's see if I can get it ready. So one of the ports I actually recommend buying is this guy right here. It is good because a lot of the time the fish are higher price. And it's located right next to the red snappers. Which is the next fish we will be going for. To show you price XP. Stuff to go off of. Uh, flounders are also down there. 
that you can get clams, oysters, shrimp. What is the other one? Black drum. They're also down there. Crabs are all over the area for blue crabs. So if you look here, you can see all the different blue spots. And that's where you can park boats. I believe it gives you three and then you have to buy them from 5000 up to $20,000. total of six spots so now let's redo this Now when you get uh when you pay the twenty five gold for that spot just for like the fish and stuff, there's only one spot. You can't buy extras. And only one boat will fit in there at a time. Let's just get this set up for next time manage. Sell that. Go to traps. Go we'll buy the one. But until next time, guys, which will probably be tomorrow or in a couple days, we will see you then. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, post a comment. Peace.